फ्रेंड्स यू आर वंस अगेन वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ द सोसाइटी ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एंड डेवलपमेंट टुडे वी डिस्कस विद यू द वेरियस कंपोनेंट्स व्हिच आर बीइंग फॉलोड बाय द इंडियन जर्नल ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एंड डेवलपमेंट इन राइटिंग ऑफ द आर्टिकल सो व्हेन यू आर टू प्रिपेयर योर आर्टिकल यू मस्ट फॉलो दीज हेडिंग्स और कंपोनेंट्स वाइल राइटिंग योर आर्टिकल इफ यू फॉलो दीज कंपोनेंट्स और सब हेडिंग्स then chances of uh, acceptance of your article will increase subject to the condition that your article fall under the scope of the journal and it is uh, uh, recommended by the referee for its uh, publication so now let us start with the video so first one is title the title of the article should be crisp and should reflect the subject matter of your article what you are going to discuss that should be reflected from the title then comes the names of the author give the complete name of names of the authors names of the author with their official addresses including their designation department name of the institution place of institution and with the state you can write in the bracket itself so whenever we want to send some uh, uh, copy of the journal that will reach the right person without Uh, being returned by the postal department so then you have to give the email of the corresponding author is that is very very important then comes the abstract abstract should be about 125 words and it should include the main findings main finding along with the policy implication so you should not cite any reference in the abstract it should be based on your findings if you cite any reference article may be rejected on its submission so abstract and conclusion that should be based on your findings not based on the findings of some other scientist so it should not be more than 125 words then come the introduction before introduction you have to write the keywords 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 should be 3 to 4 and mind it that these words should not come from the title of the article it should be from uh, it should represent your whole study but it should not come from the title of the article then comes the jel codes that you can get 3 to 4 jel code depending on the requirement and choose the right uh, jel codes from the list which is available at the website of the society of economics and development then we come to the most important component that is introduction introduction should be around 750 to 800 words and it should be supplemented with the existing literature latest literature and at the end of the introduction in the concluding of the concluding para give the main objective of the study that should be clearly mentioned what are the objectives of the study sometimes some scientists are not giving the objective just abruptly uh, end the introduction so into the, after the concluding para you must write what are the objective of the of the your investigation of the study then the next is uh, methodology in the methodology you have to give all the sample was selected all the respondent was selected all the data were collected which method was used for the collection of data whether you use the schedule or a questionnaire you must be knowing the difference between the questionnaire and schedule questionnaire is one which we send by a post and the schedule we administrate it through personal contact with the we, uh, we have face to face interview with the, the respondent then we use uh, the schedule so difference should be clear so in methodology you have to give everything including the design of the study selection of the sample area then selection of the respondents then how the data were collected sources of data primary secondary that you have to mention then you have to give the techniques of data analysis software used in the uh, analysis of data brief description of uh, each component which has been followed in design of the study sample selection collection of data sources of data then techniques used in the analysis of data and if any pro if, 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 if any software you that must be mentioned in the methodology you should have a complete package of all the component this 
this part is very very important and uh, always use the updated data don't give the obsolete data it should be based on the current data which uh, whichever data is available and always mention the reference period of the study that is very important so this is all about methodology then we come to one thing i more add about methodology don't give the detail of already known statistical tools give the names only just mention the names for example you are estimating the growth rates you just mention that the exponential model was used for the estimation of growth rate don't give that formula don't give that detail it is already known so already known statistical tools the detail of these should be wider only mention their names then the next component or the heading is a results and discussion you have to discuss the results with logic don't give just uh, economic reporting in many cases we have seen that uh, many authors are just doing the economic uh, report uh, so, uh, doing the economic reporting of the results we need economic logic and increase and decrease can even simple graduate can uh, explain this is the figure was in the, in year this was this and it increased to this or decreased to this level that that uh, that is a simple matter but you have to Uh, discuss the result with the logic why particular variable behaved in a particular manner why there was an increase why there was a decrease that is the uh, that is the major part or played by the economist you have to explain the economic phenomena why particular variable has behaved in a particular manner due to particular reason so reasoning is very very important and along with this you are to compare and contrast your finding with the existing literature that is very very important but you have to relate your studies with the already conducted studies in the field so then come the conclusion the conclusion should not exceed more than 200 words i will never cite any reference in the conclusions give the main findings and give the policy options what are the policy options you to deduce from and give the policy option which are deduced from your study not from other studies then come the references the authors are advised to follow apa 7th edition while in citation and listing of the reference and also note that all the cited studies should be listed under the references and vice versa only give the literature which is cited in the text and don't give the study don't list the study which are not being cited in the text of the manuscript and vice versa then comes the notes if you want to add any note that you can add depending on the requirements one thing very very important is another important thing that i want to add here is that never give view all literature under a separate head that is not required that is not required don't give view all literature under a separate head that is not required avoid it so we have to send again the article to the authors for revision to uh, ask them to delete their view literature so don't write the review literature under separate head you can use the literature to compare and contrast your finding but not give a review literature in under a separate head other observation that many authors are writing 3 to 4 or 5 paras after the discussion of the results from taking from the uh, internet or they are use chat gpt or ai that is not acceptable in any form you are writing the three four paras after the discussion which are not related to any table or figure or diagram they are not related just getting from the internet and writing at the end of the uh, discussion that is not desirable so kindly avoid it it will lead to the rejection of your article heading you have to follow for writing of the your manuscript number 1 is the title of the article then the name of the authors with their affiliation official address then email of the corresponding author operational email address then a stack about 125 words keyword 3 to 4 and jel codes 3 to 4 depending on the requirement introduction about 700 to 800 words methodology give detail about the sample selection and all the trail you have to give under methodology results discussion don't discuss each and every figure just give the general trend then you conclude from that what you are discussing at the end of each table you can conclude something about it then you have to then come the conclusion the conclusion should be 
around 200 words and never cite any reference in the conclusion that is very very important then reference follow APA 7th edition and notes if any you can give and never use AI for the writing of your writing of your article that may lead to the rejection on your submission so kindly follow these uh, uh, sub ads the chances of uh, selection of your article will increase if your article fall under the preview of the journal and it is uh, uh, recommended by the referees for the publication as you know recently we got a impact factor of 0.2 by the web of science this is also known as clarivit analytics and the uh, NAS score is 5.15 it will be and it will be revised to 6.2 in the month of January 2024 then you can wait then it is, it is also next and scopus and UGC approved journal it is all happened with your help and support and I hope you will continue to support this journal to, so that we can uh, touch new heights if you want any article for citation we will provide free of cost just write that we want to cite this article we will provide the soft copy of the article free of cost. So I hope that you will find this information useful and you will share with the fellow scientists and especially the young scientists. One thing I want to add here, we are facing one problem, very serious problem. When you submit your article, we, are, we ask for the three referees. Referee means article evaluators. In many cases, it has been seen that most of the author who don't uh, do not know the meaning of uh, referees they are writing the referees who are author of the uh, article so please don't write the don't suggest the name of the referees who are related to the article in any form and also suggest the referees who are related subject or the discipline is same uh, on which you are writing the article we have seen that many in many cases people suggest uh, referee from the engineering or psychology or critical science that is not desirable suggest the referees from the field of economics or light subjects that is also very important i hope you will find this information useful and share with your co-authors and scientists kindly subscribe share and like the youtube channel of the society of economics and development and never forget to hit the bell icon so that you see the notification whenever new videos are uploaded on the YouTube. Thank you once again. Take care.